<laughs> that was so aggressive. Hello, my precious little babies, and welcome back to my channel. This week I have a miniature house that I made for you out of popsicle sticks. I'm back to doing stuff with popsicle sticks. It's been way too long. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Hello and welcome back to my workstation. So I started rocking out and then I got crazy because I was like, I'm gonna need so much time to build this thing that we have for this week. First course of action, cut all the popsicle sticks up. This is the longest part of the process. I did do something different this time. I made windows out of shrinky dink plastic. I put down this template and then it was time to trace it out. I did this process like 12 times and I got really tired by the end of making windows. But this was so life changing. Like I need to be making more windows for all my builds. Now we're just gonna cut it out to make it look all nice. I wish I would have put more of a border around, but that's all right. And after we cut it out, this is what it looks like. And then all the pieces are together. Now it's just time to put them in the oven. Off camera, I glued these popsicle sticks together to create this wall. And then we're gonna cut holes where the door and the windows are supposed to be. But this was a challenge. Um, it did not work the way that I wanted it to because there's just small little places where it just it break apart and I hated it. I tried to break it, but I was too weak. So now let's just start over. Let's just forget that all happened and let's just build it from scratch. So I started putting all these windows and little places in between the windows to give it this, you know, house look. And I think this worked so much better than what I was trying to do before. Sometimes you just need to give up in order for a better outcome to come along so then i glued all these pieces together i made two of the window walls and then it was time to make the wall you know longer because this is going to be a two-story house at this point i was starting to get pretty excited because i was like this is so much easier than what i was trying to do before after all the glue was dry it was time to take this thing off the parchment paper and it was pretty difficult so i had to get my palette knife out and kind of just try to break it free and then it was free freedom yay america whatever anyways then i made this door and i put a little handle on it and i have deceived you you thought the door was glued down it was not took some super glue and put it against the wall and then we put that piece in to give it a frame and then it was time to kind of frame the rest of the piece. Um, I put this rubber band around it to keep the side walls intact and like almost mush them together. Soon it was time to put the hinges on these side walls this is going to be where it all opens so um i super glued these down because i was not going to work with those tiny little nails it almost broke my soul last time and then it was time to put the side pieces in to give it structure and to make sure everything was going to be good and we almost lost that guy but i got him back I, there he is perfect let's work from the inside out and we're gonna put these floors down and hold the piece together let it go and let it all destroy itself to hold up the second floor i put some random things that i had down to keep it up and keep it straight and then it was time to put the walls in this part gets very satisfying very quick because at this point you can pretty much see if this is all gonna work when I work, I like to watch something. This time I was watching Bob's Burgers, if you know, you know. And then we have the two walls. 
so pretty and then i cut out these little triangles to go to support the roof and it was pretty easy actually i was very surprised then it's time to glue them on to give the roof support after they dry it's time to put the hinge wall on so that is exactly what we did and this is where i got so freaking happy because i was like i made this freaking thing that opens and closes and it's so amazing i'm so freaking happy shake, shake, shake that medicine. After fighting with the super glue for what felt like hours, I finally got a drop out. Then I took these old jewelry pieces and glued them down to keep them stable. And then we're going to put on the roof, which was very satisfying because I knew I could open it. Because at this point in my other builds, it's like, well, we're never going to see the inside of that house ever again. So let's just say goodbye. But this time you get to see the inside. So I put this little wall in to create a little bathroom that we're going to decorate next week. And the hinges were all dry and it was time to move on to painting everything. I'm sure you have a vision in your head of what your house color is going to be. I've always imagined my house being blue. So I put white blue and purple together to almost create this like periwinkle color uh, because that is my favorite color and I had to adjust that blue because it was too light for my taste and then to create the roof and the side pieces I made this nice gray color that I did also put blue and purple in because I wanted it to match really well with the blue house let's move on to painting the actual house so once i saw this color down i was like this is the most beautiful house i've ever seen in my entire life so this is very very fast forwarded um, because i was very very precise with where i put the color down because as you can see there's a crease here and we do not want to paint down this crease this isn't the 1950s where people were just painting clothes their windows for some reason I, I don't know what they were doing that but i was not going to make the same mistakes this honestly just made me so freaking happy to paint because in my other builds, I never paint them because I do like the natural wood. But after painting this, it made me realize, well, probably should paint a lot more things because it just looks more put together and finished. So moving on to the front of the house, I was so careful. I had to be careful because look at these nooks and crannies here. It was very difficult not to paint the windows, but when I did do that, because I did, I would just wipe it off with my finger. Painting this also helps seal up all the edges because popsicle sticks aren't perfect, so you do have to work with them, not against them. I just had to learn that along the way because some of them are warped, some of them are crooked, they're just not created in the best way possible, which is fine. So after one coat, this is what it looked like. And then I moved on to painting the roof gray. This gray is freaking amazing. Like it's just such a beautiful gray color to go with this blue. And I, I did so well at mixing this. I'm just gonna pat myself on the back. Can you hear me patting myself? I'm patting myself. After giving myself the praise and attention that I deserve, I continue to paint this piece and I did do two coats of all the paint because I mean it gave just the best coverage and then it was time to paint the inside because I didn't want the inside to look all woody and unfinished i mean this still looks unfinished but it looks like a house where it's like they just have all the walls white so that the new owners can do whatever they want and next week that is exactly what we're gonna do is customize all the different rooms i just wanted a good base layer and this is after one coat and then this is after two coats it looks exactly the same after all the paint was dry it was time to paint the freaking door so I again used this gray color because I wanted everything to match and I did the front and the back of the door to give it you know the same look because I don't like it when doors are two different colors I just think that's like 
weird because I'm like, isn't it the same? Why did you paint it two different colors? Anyways, it's, I'm not an interior design expert, so maybe it is the right thing to do. I don't know. And to really finish off the piece, it was time to paint the structural pieces the same color as the roof because I just love this matchy-matchy look. I just think it looks really put together and I really didn't want the outside pieces to look blue too because I wanted some, you know, chaos going on. It's not chaotic. It's literally two different colors. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then after that, it was time to finish all the hardware. So I did paint this gold, even though it's gold before. I just wanted the super glue to have some paint on it so it didn't look so bad because up close, it's just, it's not the best. And then with that same gold, I painted the door handle. Um, I did notice that this door handle is like way too big for the door, but maybe this family just has like giant hands and you know what they say about giant hands, giant fingerprints. And then finally it was time to seal everything up. While I was sealing, I noticed that this little man got in here. I had to take him out. He was evacuated real quick because I was like, that's going to be gross. So after sealing everything in, this is the final freaking product. I think it's amazing. I love that this door opens and closes because functionality is my favorite thing in miniatures because when you can open things up, close things up, I just love that. And also I just love that this build opens and closes like one of those houses for little kids that they can open and close. Um, I mean, I love it. Kids love it. I just think this is great potential for what we're going to do next week. Whew. So much freaking work that I had to put into this. I am getting a little better at all this popsicle stick stuff. Obviously, there's still a lot of room for improvement, but as you just saw, we made this little guy. I think it's freaking amazing. It's so cool. The fact that it opens up is pretty amazing. And I mean, tiny little windows for the inside, so... I'm just so freaking proud of myself. This took a lot of freaking work. There are mistakes. I guess I will show you. Do you see that? There's a slight overlapping going on here. That's okay because if I was perfect, then there wouldn't be any room for improvement. And that would be sad. But this took me four days. As you can see, this is empty. There's nothing in here because I knew it was gonna take me like all week to make this. Next week's video is actually gonna be me making tiny little furniture for this. So I hope to see you then. I don't know, tell me what, what do you think of this? Do you like it? Do you think it's cool? Do you have any um, recommendations? Y you can answer. Me too, that's what I thought too. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it for you like always. Come back next week, of course, to watch me make the tiny little furniture. And now it is time for the time. It is time for that time. It is time for time. Time is a construct. Time is gravity. So it's time for that gravity. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. And I hate this part because it always seems so quick that, you know, we just say hi and bye. I hope to see you here next week. Please come back and I will see you then. I don't know why I'm pointing a fake gun at you. You better come back. You better come back. <laughs> Alright, please come back and I will say bye bye, my precious little babies.